friends, happy October. It is that time of the month again. It is grocery haul time for us. So this haul will be a little bit unique in, for a couple of reasons. September's savings um, magazine from Sam's Club had a bunch of deals that were gonna expire the last like the 26th and so those were things that we were going to be purchasing anyways just a couple days later so we did a sam's haul that we picked up that was only those coupon items and some of it came in the mail some of it was shipping and some of it we picked up Another reason why this haul will be a little bit different is I'm not doing it on one day and I don't have my husband's help in the shopping, so far at least. Um, today is a Thursday and we are anticipating puppies within the next seven to 10 days. Could be sooner because we don't know our Luna Bear's exact um, conception date. I don't know what the proper term for that is. So on Saturday, we're gonna be doing a lot of things to prepare for puppies. And so I wanted to go ahead and get this done over the next couple days. So as we've gone in town for therapy for Evan or doctor's appointments, I've been taking whatever kids are with me and doing the haul. So this is a tiny bit of Walmart. I had um, one of my sons with me that wanted to go to Walmart to look for some sweatpants and so I did not do any grocery shopping just as I saw fun fall things I just picked them up so I will show you those but this is my Aldi haul for October I did not get milk or a lot of things because we had to sit in the car for therapy after we did this and I didn't know how long that would take. So I didn't get any frozen or any meat at Aldi. So I don't know if I'm gonna swing back in and do that. We will have to see. Okay, so I'll kind of pan around quick. It's on every counter and the table. So we'll start over here at the table. So I did decide to do a bigger stock up than just for the month. I, concerned isn't the word, I just wanna be prepared. I feel like things are gonna get harder to find and definitely prices are going up. So even if it wasn't something that I thought I might use this month, you know, it's fall, so winter's coming up. So I did just go ahead and buy extra and I will continue to do that at other stores. Okay, so I got one, two, four tortillas. These are very cheap tortillas. They're under $1.50 for 10. My husband does not love them to eat like as a taco, but if I make enchiladas or something that we're putting in the oven, these work just fine. And then these are corn tortillas. For me, the date on these is 11.08, so I will store these in the refrigerator and this 30 count should last me the whole month. I got two Hawaiian rolls, we ate all of this that we had left out of the freezer and I was gonna make a, um, it's like a, it's on a cheeseburger slider. We just had that, a turkey slider for one afternoon after church. So if we make that, I'll film that and show the recipe then. I bought in our Sam's order some um, fruit cups, but I have a certain kiddo that really likes the diced pears. So I just went ahead, I'm just gonna call this a case. Got a case of those. This is inspired by a stock up haul that I watched from Queen's Cabinet and she said that she only uses like one or two of these cans a year and if she opens them up for a recipe she just freezes the rest. So I saw that and they were under 50 cents. I went ahead and grabbed those just in case I ever had a recipe that needed them. I got six pork and beans i use this to make baked beans so this will either be two um side dishes for us or if we're having company one side dish of baked beans i got a ton of sweet condensed milk i see it over here not a ton i got one one two three four i got five condi sweetened condensed milks pumpkin 
I, I have maybe six in my pantry. I didn't know if this was going to be hard to find. I think it was like two years ago you could not find canned pumpkin. And these were very inexpensive. So I went ahead and got two, four, six, eight, nine pumpkins. I got three pineapple chunks and three of the crushed pineapple. I got a whole case of the red enchilada sauce. And then this is all these kind of Rotel diced tomatoes and green chili. So I got a case of that. And then I had this in my Walmart pickup order that I have not placed yet. And it was, it seemed like it was much cheaper at all these. So I got four cherry pie filling and four apple pie filling. Again, I don't know when I'm gonna use that, but I went ahead and got it. This was at the checkout um, counter and I got three of them. One for us, one for Emma and Chris, and then one for my Evie at college. And one video that my daughters and I are gonna film this weekend is we are gonna make a care package for Halloween and send it to Evie. Even though she's close by, I thought it'd be fun for her to get it in the mail. And then we're also gonna make one for Emma, Chris, and baby Daniel. So some of the items I'll point out to you if I'm gonna add them into our Halloween care package. So that for sure is going in there. And then this is like a store break. I also went to Drug Emporium and got, I've, if you've watched my past hauls, I always get these jams here. I got one apricot, one raspberry, or two raspberries, one blackberry, it's like a glare, I can't see it. Red plum, orange marmalade, and apple jelly. And the kids actually run the cups through the dishwasher and they've been enjoying using those so um you know free cut what's interesting is each one is a different price by a few cents and so i guess it's just how much berries cost or the fruit and then my gluten-free hot dog buns and udi's gluten-free hamburger buns and then this is the last two things from um uh, drug emporium couldn't think of the name and I got these because there's been a few recipes that like for a minestrone soup and I was like, oh, but I would have to pick out the pasta if I ate it. And so I thought I can just use these and then everyone can eat it gluten-free. These were, you know, gluten-free prices, $3.69, a small box of 12 ounces of pasta. That's kind of pricey. Okay, back to the Aldi haul. I got two bags of red onions and three, ooh, one's coming out, three bags of yellow onions. Three things of strawberries. These actually looked really good. We're gonna try to eat these within the next couple days before they go too soft. Two things of the broccoli. Two bags of spinach. Their peppers were on sale, their green peppers. So I got six green peppers, three bags of Gala apples, two bags of Granny Smith, and two bags of the whole carrots. This is my little tiny cold section with a few things sneaking in. I got four cream cheeses. I need to go out to my fridges. I think I only have like one or two cream cheese, cream cheeses left. So I didn't want to stock up too much until I saw how much I needed to use it. Two things of the pie crust. I will put these in the freezer to use for holiday baking. This is very yummy. Tastes very similar to the Velveeta shells and cheese. This is from Aldi again. The gluten-free deluxe mac and cheese. I definitely need more creamer. We've had a lot of company and with my mom staying a lot, but I went ahead and got one hazelnut and one pumpkin spice. I wanted to see if at Walmart they had some different flavors. Got one French onion dip, four chips and veggies, um, one caramel dip for us, and then one or two more for the care packages. Let's see, some Swiss cheese, little wedges, I got four blocks of cheese, two Colby Jack, two Pepper Jack, um, sliced cheese, two Colby Jacks, one medium cheddar, and one Pepper Jack. Evan's six count of <laughs> yogurt. And these are the cream cheese spread. We use these for bagels that we eat on Tuesdays or they're really good on graham crackers. So got one salted caramel, two strawberry, one pumpkin spice, or two pumpkin spice. This is the spreadable butter. This is their Winking Owl Red wine in a box. And then I tried the pink one 
and liked the pink margarita, so I just got the ready to drink margarita mix. Also, four boxes of beef broth, four things of ketchup, one thing of mustard. I just opened my last sriracha, so I have a full one in the refrigerator, but I like to keep one extra in the pantry. These banana pepper rings, again, is from that stock up haul from Queen's Cabinet. She said she uses this on like a certain hoagie sandwich, so I wanted to go back and see if she linked that recipe. If she did, I'll put it below. If not, I may search for one. Um, I thought this red wine vinegar bottle was really pretty and I needed one. Four more marinara sauce for mayo. This is kind of our breakfast cereal spot. So this is my husband's favorite for when I make vanilla, homemade vanilla yogurt in the Instapot, the coconut cacao. And that's my Luna Bear. Since she's been pregnant, she's real fussy. Um, apple and almond granola. This one is gluten-free. Then we also eat this granola cereal, the pumpkin seed and flax, the coconut chia. My girls love, let's see if I can get the front of the box, love this Vitality fruit and yogurt. Two crispy rice. These are mainly for cooking. And then two of the Fruit Loop, Aldi Fruit Loops brand. Their pumpkins were under $3, so I picked up two. And I'll have to get some more. Um, we don't carve a pumpkin per kiddo. This should be enough for us to carve, but I wanted to put, we kind of do a boys and a girls. Um, I kind of wanted to put some on the front porch. So that's kind of the beginning, beginnings of that. Okay, so this was my little Walmart order that I grabbed really quick, or just saw on the end cap. So I got two of these pumpkin spice marshmallows for my family here, and then one for Emma's family, and one for Evie Kate. And then I also bought Evie, you'll see over there some, she has a electric kettle in her dorm room, and so I thought I bought her some hot chocolate. So this would be a fun treat for her when she's studying. And then I got two of just the Great Value Spice cake mixes. And then for Halloween night for us, I got one of the chocolate funfetti cakes and one of the regular and then the frostings that match. And then I'm gonna put this one, hopefully Emma isn't watching this, <laughs> in her, um, you know, Evie doesn't have a way to bake this at her dorm room, but this one can go in Emma's, she can bake that for her little sweet family and then these looked really interesting to me thought I bought four but I guess I bought three this pumpkin spice instant pudding I'm hiding these the coveted yogurt bites and then three boxes of the plain strawberry gogurt down here he still mixes this strawberry banana baby food in with his yogurt so that's just I don't know how many I grabbed there Okay, this is for my Evie Kate. This is kind of her little section. Um, she did not have a broom at her dorm room and she's been borrowing her neighbors. So I bought her that and she asked for a small package of dryer sheets. Here's that hot chocolate I'm gonna include in her package. Here's the pepitas. This is just for, this isn't for Evie, this is for us, us again um, for salads and snacking. Got two of the graham cracker crust three of the white chocolate and one butterscotch. I wanted to make monster cookies and I'm not sure what, I haven't dug through my baking um, bin in the pantry and I'll do that before I continue my big shop for October. Two things of mini marshmallows, same, same there. I didn't know how many I had in there. I got two um, chocolate puddings, three van or four vanillas, I knew I was out of cocoa, and so I went ahead and picked up two of those, three strawberries, jello, three oranges. I feel like I bought four of each. So maybe they're hiding somewhere. I usually buy a whole case of these little rice rusks, but this is all they had of the flavor that he eats, and he will only eat that flavor. Two Italian seasonings, one rosemary, one cloves. Aldi has extremely inexpensive spices. One almond ac extract, one peppermint extract, and then I got four bags of the yogurt bites there, two strawberry, two, what is this, mixed berry. Three things of their thin wheat crackers, two of these trail mix little individual packets that are 
sweet and salty, and this one is a cranberry mix. Three boxes of graham crackers, three boxes of just crackers. My husband loved this. We tried it last month. Two of the Asian chill mix, and then I bought the indulgent chill mix that has all the chocolate and yummies. They also have knockoff Girl Scout cookies under $2 a, bot or a bag. So one fig bar, two of the caramel coconut, and two peanut butter. Six cornbread mixes, two taco shells, and two things of breadcrumbs. Four of the scallop potatoes. Um, a viewer commented on my poppy seed chicken to try stuffing next time, so I am gonna do that. Um, this time, we'll see how that goes. Two packages of onion mix. I'm not gonna count these right here, but a stack of ranch dressing, a stack of taco seasoning, and a stack of this chicken seasoning. I use that in one of my, my friend Jessica, her rice res recipe. Okay. I think that does it for Aldi. So up next will be the rest of our grocery haul. We're slowly unloading Sam's. Look at these muscles. What are you doing? We have a dogwood tree right here. We have a had a really heavy storm last night and we lost, I don't know if you can see how huge this is. Lost a huge portion of it. Such a pretty tree too, such a shame. It literally is half the tree missing. Aw. Who threw, who's throwing chicken nuggets? Probably Evan. Evan, you're such a good helper. You're just gonna sit and manage the situation. Okay, friends, we're back from Sam's. Everything has been unloaded. I tried to keep it somewhat organized. I have a kitty here being a helper. Let's get down. Okay, and also, also the Sam's uh, .com things that I had ordered that I mentioned earlier came also and so I just opened them up just now and included them in this so if I remember if it came from sams.com I'll try to try to share that with you as well okay we're gonna get started here with the drinks I always get the Canada Dry flavored ginger ale over the holidays. Usually they have it in the cans like this, but they have this four pack. So we're gonna get that, that is so yummy. Two things of cranberry juice, six apple juices, one pack of 7-Up. And then down here I got a Dr. Pepper and two cases of water. And then I got two different um, cases of LaCroix sparkling water. This one is hibiscus limoncello watermelon and guava, beach plum, and black raspberry. And that's all the drinks. So over here, it's kind of a mess. This is the only produce that I got. I did find that their produce was, there were huge sections of it that were completely empty. So I still have a Walmart pickup order that my husband's gonna pick up for me tomorrow. So I just got cucumbers, two things of red grapes, the gallon size tea bags, family tea bags, chicken broth, uh, oatmeal, and then this, these four cereals are from sams.com. They do not have this in the store, but I really love these gluten-free cereals and a few of my kids like them too. So I went ahead and got four. And then hiding back here behind my pretty pumpkin, isn't that so pretty, uh, is this yellow tail Cabernet. Got two of those. Okay, let me see if I missed anything. Over here is some of the household. We got some styrofoam bowls and plates at the bottom. Trash bags, two things of fabric softener. On the very bottom is paper towels, toilet paper, 
And then I got a pack of one inch binders and three inch binders for some of our school projects. And then this Clorox was from Sam's.com. This was on the coupon. So glad to have that. And then a thing of applesauce. These 24 cans of pedigree wet food has been for Luna. We've probably been using one can every day, just dividing it up with her dry food and mixing it. She's been really picky since she got pregnant. We have back here, this is the cold stuff, some queso dip, two heavy creams, two half and halves, the Colby Jack string cheese, and then just the regular mozzarella string cheese, the guacamole minis, and some Pam spray, some Ember's Mark olive oil spray, two things of Velveeta. This is really pricey, I can't remember, but it was over $10 for that, which I thought was a lot. I got the this chicken breast, which Lizzie was like, that is so gross to have chicken in a can, but I've seen it on a lot of vlogs, and that's my Luna Bear. Um, a lot of the women use this to make like a chicken salad sandwich for lunch, so I thought we would try that. Plus, if chicken ends up being hard to come by, I thought that would be good to have in the pantry. This four pack of these triple chocolate Hershey's brownies, Betty Crocker, so good. So the canned goods, they were out of corn, so I am gonna have to try to make yet another Sam's.com order for a few of the things they were out of in store. So cut green beans. This is the Progresso chicken noodle soup with the curly egg noodles. This is evaporated milk, and then a box of cream of chicken, and then hiding down there is a box of cream of mushroom. I will get the gluten-free cream of chicken and mushroom in my Walmart order. Um, the breakfast essentials, chocolate drinks, I have about one of those <laughs> a morning. I didn't even know what this was. Lizzie was behind me in another cart, and she was like, we should try this. So I said, okay, put it in. So it's for the air fryer. It's seasoned garlic and herb mix. So I think it's probably like a shake and bake, which my husband used to love. I haven't made that in so long, so we'll try that. These are my gluten-free oat bites interesting sams.com said these were out of stock but here they are uh, some of the cereal bars fig bars this is a sams.com order that came in just the men's bar of soap that was on coupon i needed this month i only needed two of our coffees but my daughter in college asked for one so one is going to evie and then this also was a sams.com these kodiak cakes the power protein pancake and waffle mix, a thing of dish soap pledge. They were out of Windex. I don't know if Windex is something that they will ship, so hopefully. We are totally out of batteries. Batteries are so expensive, so buying the triple A, double A, and D, I bet this was over $40 just in batteries. And I used up I had bought one at the beginning of, or in this one of my summer hauls, and we have literally printed entire curriculums, and so I used up my entire ream of paper, so I went ahead and bought one more just to keep in there, and then this is a 25-pound bag of flour. I went ahead and bought that to put in our big white containers that we just bought for the pantry. Here's our small frozen section. I got the... Angus beef hamburger patties, uh, a thing of these barbecue boneless chicken bites. These are like the bagel bites, but it's the members mark and little pizzas, corn on the cob, fish sticks, Eggo waffles. This is 80 hot dogs. They're in this box frozen. Chicken nuggets, and then this is the buffalo style chicken bites. I bought this for Brian and I to have for dinner. It looks so yummy. It's a chicken taco kit with shredded cooked chicken, some corn tortillas, cilantro, lime, and salsa, and then kind of the cabbage slaw with lime. I thought that looked so good. It was kind of pricey, $13.55, but then I figured even if we went through a drive-thru and got us dinner, it would be about that. So these are each two pounds, so four pounds of the Jimmy Dean sausage, two packages of ground turkey. Each one of these is two and a half pounds, so that's 10 pounds there. 
two packages of the Italian sausage. Each little container is one pound, so that's four pounds of Italian sausage. One thing of the honey ham and one thing of the turkey breast for lunch meat. I got a chuck roast there, or two chuck roasts. The skirt steak, and then underneath the skirt steak, it's hard to do one-handed, is a package of stew meat. They did have chicken. I got one, two, three, four, five of these. The price has definitely gone up. Each one is about five to six pounds, and this was $12.29 for this one package. That definitely will not be enough for the month, so I'm hoping that Walmart Will allow me to get some. This was also a Sam's.com order. The pure vanilla extract. I went ahead and bought two for the holidays coming up. I knew the girls and I would be doing a lot of baking. These whole tender artichoke hearts I saw on a vlog, the Queen's Cabinet, and she talked about all the recipes that she used this for. So I went ahead and I just saw it on the shelf. That was an impulse buy. This cinnamon toast crunch, Cinnadus. I make maybe once or twice a month in the oven the kids cinnamon toast and I just mix up the cinnamon sugar by you know just right then and there and so I just thought this would be easy and this would last us forever if we did that so I grabbed that another thing of olive oil some pickles hot chocolate it's about that season there is on sams.com they have a variety i don't think it's swiss miss but it looked really really yummy of hot chocolate so if i end up needing to make an order for corn and things that they were out of i'll probably add that to try and then the yum yum sauce i got two of these i feel like if we open this it's literally gone in one sitting they use this pretty heavily this Baylor shirt. It's for Evan. It's a size eight and it's a long sleeve t-shirt. Okay. Four things of peanut butter. I'm annoyed at this. I thought this was an ice cream or two ice cream scoops, but it's actually when my husband was reading the back, it is for serving rice and potatoes, which will still put it to use, but we don't have an ice cream scoop. So I need to remember to add that to my Walmart order. Okay, nuts. I got shelled walnuts, cons, macadamia nuts. These were expensive, but I always end up buying a few small packages that end up being really pricey for over the holidays. So I saw that there. I've never seen it there before. So I went ahead and grabbed that. One thing of tortillas. These actually are the tortillas that my husband likes better than the Aldi ones that I just use for cooking. This two soft things of bread just for sandwiches this weekend and then this is kind of in the wrong place but I got two of the laundry detergent I love this guacamole salsa my husband does not and I think there's only one other kid that likes it with me so I grabbed that pesto is for a couple of recipes I'll have to look and see this is 22 ounces I wanted to make a few recipes with pesto last month and couldn't because I didn't have it so I'm glad I have that this looked really yummy this Kinder's marinade and sauce I'm just gonna pour this in a bag freezer bag with some of the chicken breasts oh and this is also a sands.com order it just came like this these Lay's chips that was from sands.com okay so that is Sam's. <coughs> All that's left is a uh, Walmart and possible HEB has a lot of my gluten-free things. So it, if I did that, it would just be a pickup order. Um, so we will get that squared away this weekend. And then we still have to go to Atwood's, the farming store to get all of our pet things and Luna especially some things for her for giving birth. Hey friends, we're further into our stock up for October. I'm gonna try to talk loud enough so you can hear over Evan's Bruno Mars in the background. But um, 
We are headed to, we just did a Target pickup order. It was primarily gluten-free items. And now we are going to Walmart. We have quite a long list. I have S, I have Isaiah and Esme, Evan and Brian with me as helpers. So we're gonna do a little bit more of a stock up just Kind of what I talked about in the last video. Um, just to prepare for fall and winter, inflation, if there's limits in the future. So we're just gonna go in there with our list and try to stay patient. And Evan tends to do okay most of the time, but then he reaches a point that he's just done and he'll sign all done, all done, all done. But if you're still in the store and have stuff to do, then he gets really frustrated. So hopefully that point of all done will come later. Um, I'm hoping to find in their outdoor section a couple of mums. Isaiah repotted my um, two planters by the front door. So there's hopefully they have a few fun extras also once we get in there. What input do you have? I just woke up from a 15 minute nap. You have input, Evan? Okay, we're almost there. Okay, we are back from Walmart and we had a Target pickup order. And we are officially done with our stockpile for the month and the months to come. So I'll show you what we got at both places. Okay, down here, I usually get my wipes at Sam's, but my cart was so full I couldn't fit them. So I got just the Parents' Choice wipes at Walmart. Two packages, a six count of the ciabatta rolls. I make a Mississippi roast and we do like a French dip sandwich with that. Two things of tortilla chips, the peanut butter, peanut butter crackers, and I guess these are the two things. Peach tea and assorted tea. For hot tea, two things of hot dog buns. A caramel macchiato creamer. This is gonna be for a yogurt starter. It's just plain Greek yogurt. Six crescent rolls, two sour creams, four unsalted butters. This is just for a fun snack one day this week for school. I was gonna throw those in the oven for the kids. These are for Evan. So there were six gallons of milk. One's already been used. A gallon of orange juice. Four unsweetened vanilla almond milk. A dirty, a sink of dirty dishes. Okay, these are just the cheap toothbrushes. I went ahead and got a pack for Evan and us and this is the toothpaste that Evan likes. And then just one tube of toothpaste is all we needed, some feminine products. Evan did like this, it did not burn his eyes, so I went ahead and got him one more for the cabinet. And then two mouthwash, a men's body wash. This is the Equate version of Head & Shoulders. Two hand soaps. The girls are gonna try this Cantu for natural hair cream conditioner, and then three of the Suave Coconut Conditioners. This is kind of just for our stockpile for cold and flu season coming up. Just two things of Tylenol, two things of ibuprofen, some melatonin, some cough drops. This is an enormous tub of hair gel. I feel like some of my boys, I buy this all the time, so I saw this on the end cap and was like, that better last gel a long time. Some hair ties, some stainless steel scrubbers for dishes. This is a new scrubber to clean with. The glass refill, I forgot Windex at Sam's. Just some drawer organizers. I got three different sizes. So here's our produce from Walmart. There's a bag of potatoes and red potatoes, three of the colored peppers, two bags of oranges, two bunches of cilantro. These are Texas grapefruits. Four bunches of bananas. I'm gonna eat one or two and then I make some for smoothies in the freezer. Some fruit snacks, a gluten-free cake mix, 
This got snuck in the cart, so double stuff Oreos. Some croutons for salads. This will be one lunch for us. Two boxes of the chicken taquitos. I had one box of the family size General Tso's in the freezer, so I got one more, so that could be, both boxes will be one meal for us. Two bags of the two pounds of tater tots. One big bag. This one's four pounds of the seasoned french fries. Three things of the hash browns with onions and peppers. This is so good. I love this. Peas and carrots. This is for a six sisters uh, chicken fried rice that we made. That was really good. So I was going to try to make that either this month or in November. One bag of sweet peas. We use this for like rotini or for having pasta salads. I was going to, I bought two whole chickens. I was going to try to cook one of these in the, um, air fryer. I was reading that it could taste like a rotisserie chicken, so I'm going to try those. And then these three, maybe I only bought two. I thought I bought three um, of the chicken tenderloins. These were marked down. And so I just went ahead and picked those up. And oh my goodness, just hurt my ankle. Lord Jesus. Okay. This will definitely not be enough eggs. These probably will only last us two weeks, but it's all that my fridge can store at a time. So I got 120 eggs. Esme grabbed some, she was with me. She needed some new fresh leggings. So we got, let's see, 12 cans of corn. Sam's was out of that. Um, some more jelly for peanut butter and jelly. Just two of the grape and one of the strawberry. I needed some cooking sherry and some rice vinegar. Two of the Caesar dressings. And then my kiddos saw this and threw it in the car, the mayo chip. I think it looks kind of gross, but they may end up liking that. Two things of lime juice and one thing of lemon juice. That is all for Walmart. So here is Target. We are on a septic, so I have to make sure that our toilet bowl cleaner is septic safe. So I got two of the seventh generation toilet cleaner. Here's my sweet pregnant Luna. She's gonna be eating in the background. Some chai tea latte, some pumpkin spice pretzels. I was gonna put one of these in the their fall goodie bag that I talked about. And then I'll save one here for the kids to try. Eight boxes of the Annie's macaroni and cheese. I thought this was really cute it flips from clean to dirty for just to sit outside the dishwasher pointless but i thought it was cute and then three of the apple cider donut oreos we're going to try those two pack bags of the floss sticks a box of topo chico there's 12 in there that'll be just a special treat for dinner one night then I'm gonna try this gluten-free DiGiorno pepperoni pizza. I have tried this before and it is so yummy. This is the gluten-free barbecue chicken California pizza kitchen. So I love that. This is new. Um, I have not tried these, some pizza bites. So I got some gluten-free waffles. This is also gluten-free and enchilada bowl. These cupcakes are very, very, very good. You set them out for maybe two hours and then you keep them frozen. Most gluten-free products you do keep frozen, and it truly tastes so good. I haven't tried this one yet. This is a um, the Good and Gather brand with the cauliflower crust. And then I also saw these, um, these Udi's muffins. I got a blueberry and a double chocolate, so that will be fun either for a snack or for breakfast. And then these real good entree bowls. I was going to try this lemon chicken bowl, and this is a different brand. Um, I don't know what the brand is on this. Hmm. And then this one is a chicken black bean. And then I do really like this. This is the Amy's roasted poblano pepper enchiladas. And then these are a hundred count of the flannel um, hangers. I was going to try to clean out our closet this month and use some of those for my sweaters. And then I thought these slip on little leopard print. Shoes are really cute for me, so I grabbed that. Okay, I am officially 
exhausted and so tired of looking, thinking about food. I have not made a meal plan. I will make a meal plan based on the things that we have, which we have a ton of stuff, so it should be rather easy. We do have some freezer meals left over in the big freezer that I made an inventory of, so we'll try to eat some of those up here in the first couple weeks of the month. So I will have to go back halfway through the month, maybe, maybe a little bit sooner than that, to get just milk. And uh, we have quite a bit of produce, so maybe we can make it stretch, but I'm thankful it's all here. I'm thankful we got it done on the weekend and thankful for all the helpers that helped me get it in here. So we appreciate you, our YouTube family. Thank you so much for watching and being faithful followers of ours. If you have not yet subscribed, we would love to have you do that. So if you could subscribe and give this video a like, we would really appreciate it. We hope y'all are doing well and stay safe and hope your week goes well. Bye.